Hey, how's it going everyone? Grant here coming to you from the front facing camera on the Galaxy A7. I want to give you a quick update on my first full day of really using the device. Uh, it's a Saturday here, so that's where I use my phones the heaviest. And so far it's been performing exactly like I thought in my first impressions video. It's been performing very well. I like the look. It's a 5.7 inch S7 as far as I'm concerned. So that's a good look for me. Performance has been top notch, no problems using that Exynos processor. Everyday tasks, using all my apps, social media, web browsing, everything has been fast and fluid. No issues there. Battery life has been great. The only question mark for me were going to be the cameras. Uh, how good would they really be? There are 16 megapixel dual cameras on the front and back with a very wide uh, f over 1.9 aperture but no stabilization. So I really wanted to see how they would perform in good light and low light. Photos during the day have been, have been coming out pretty good so far. I noticed the reds are just way oversaturated and it blows out that picture. Um, I think color reproduction is an issue. It tends to be really oversaturated, but that could just be the display on the S7. We need to get the photos off to really see, but just here testing the cameras. So I thought I'd give you some sample footage from the front facing camera. Let me know what you think. And I'll get some additional footage from the rear facing camera and I'll post those up as well. Hey guys, here we are with some sample footage from the rear camera on the Galaxy A7. Wanted to give you some footage in the daylight here so you can see what it looks like. It's looking pretty good in the viewfinder. Everything looks pretty sharp. Colors are popping, but that could be the super AMOLED display. We'll pan around a little bit. We'll test out the zoom. There is no stabilization on this, so I want to see how stable the video quality would look as well. So there it is, I have two hands on it and I focused in and it's a little bit shaky. I don't think that's my hands, I think that's just showing the lack of stabilization. We'll zoom back out here. Pan around a little, pan around a little bit more. But like I was saying, I'll walk a little bit so you can see some of the stabilization, but like I was saying, it's still a very impressive device. And I can see why this is not in the carrier stores because I think if it were, it would really cannibalize the sales of the S7 and the upcoming S8. I think it just provides too much value for the money right now. And I've been very impressed in my one day of using it. So of course I'm going to use it for a lot longer here before I give you my final review. But I just want to give you some sample footage from the rear facing camera while I'm testing out these cameras for both photos and video and we'll post those up a little bit later. Hey guys, so here's some front facing footage from the Galaxy A7. This is obviously a low light scenario at night. What's interesting is that this footage looks really dark in the viewfinder and it's surprising because when you take a look at the low light photos, they're going to look a lot brighter, a lot clearer in the same exact lighting at the exact same time. So when I was looking at the viewfinder through the camera with the front facing camera for still photos, it looked really good. 
um, it was a lot brighter. It wasn't so dark like this. And as soon as I switched over to camera, it got really dark like this. So hopefully the audio is okay, but this video got really dark from the front facing camera for some reason compared to what the photo quality is going to look like. And you'll see that in this video here. So that's really interesting. The front facing camera in real low light like this does not seem to be all that great. Although it's picking up some light now. But it's not flaring. So if you look into the bright lights behind me, those usually result in some really bad lens flares and some really bad orange hazing in a lot of other cameras. It's not doing that here, but it's just really dark. It's not really picking up a lot of the light to really try to brighten up the photo, uh, the video quality. So it's kind of coming in here. So if I pan around, I'll try to go the other way and see what that looks like. But just wanted to bring in some quick footage from the front facing camera at night in low light from the Galaxy A7. Again, it's just looking really dark. But good news is, is, is that it doesn't look like it's at least producing any kind of lens flare. Hey everyone, so here's some rear facing footage from the Galaxy A7's rear camera at night. So you get to see some low light footage here. I'll pan around, I'll point it right up into those bright lights. Again, those lights usually result in some pretty bad lens flares in a lot of cameras, even high-end cameras like the Pixel XL. But it's not flaring up, it's just really dark. So there is no OIS in this, which might explain why it's not picking up as much light and flooding the camera lens. It is a wide aperture though at f over 1.9. So it's not bad. It's actually kind of dark here. And so the picture quality is, is probably pretty accurate, I should say. You know, um, it's, just, it's just that those bright street lights aren't really flooding the camera light to produce a much brighter image. And there you see some focus hunting. But it looks a little bit dark, but it's actually kind of accurate. But a lot of other cameras would produce a much brighter image with more of an orange haze. So I just want to kind of pan around for you so you can kind of see what that looks like. And this is shocking compared to the photo quality because the photo quality, even on this rear camera, you'll see um, the photo come out a lot brighter than the video quality here. So when I started out in the viewfinder, it was a lot brighter and I switched over to video and it got a lot darker like this. But the picture is, looks very sharp here and actually kind of natural and I'm very glad to see no real lens flaring here. And so we'll do a walking test here so you can see some stabilization. Again, there is no stabilization, no hardware, so no optical image stabilization. And there is no electronic image stabilization, so no software stabilization as well. So you kind of see what the stabilization might look like as you're walking and, and taking this footage here. I'll pan around a little bit, but just want to give you a quick sample on the rear camera of the Galaxy A7.